okay guys so right now we are going to start off this whole character creation process in photoshop to be exported to adobe character animator okay so the first thing we need to do is to set out our layers now allow me to open a character here that i've done before his name is brutus so guys you can see okay all the different layers we have here for brutus we have the character it's under this layer the main the main layer here would be the character everything would be under the character you could have this, the name change to brutus if you want to but i just have it as character okay so under the character we have this folder called the head okay and we have this folder called the body so when we um collapse this we will see the different parts of um brutus's body all right and um Looking at the head, we have the eye, the left eye, the right eye, the mouth. If you notice into the mouth here, we have so many different um, layers under there. And then we have the face background as well. Okay, so these are essential layers, right? Most of these layers here are essential layers okay but there is a simple way of just generating all your layers. And let me show you that right now. Okay, guys, so right now we are on oksamurai.com slash puppets. So as you can see here, we have different examples of puppets done by OK Samurai. This guy is great. He is great. He has so many puppets out there. I would recommend that you check out his tutorials. I have the link in the description as well. Okay, so if you go all the way down, okay, we will see, okay, that we have a blank template all right there's a blank template and there's also a blank mouth template right here okay so what we're going to do we are going to download okay the blank template and you can as you can see here we have um, a zip file open all right so after unzipping this file a template blank that's an adobe illustrator file and a template blank a Photoshop file so you can create your character in either Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop but today we are going to use Adobe Photoshop so let's just click on this all right so you see basically guys you will see a blank template right here but okay on the side here we are seeing all right all the layers needed okay to build your character all these layers are needed we have the head we have um the eyebrows in within the head we have the right eyebrow left eyebrow the eye nose mouth and within the mouth we have okay all the v zims all the mouth shapes all right everything is empty but this here is to help you with the process instead of creating okay new um layers because these layers have to be in a specific order and also the names have to be specific so this actually helps character animator read this so that your um you have no glitches with your character okay so with this being said let us begin drawing creating our character's head okay so what i like to do is probably add a new layer in there okay layer one and then i would have a neutral color probably gray or very light gray at the bottom here all right after doing my character i will um i'll just delete that layer so the first layer that i usually do is the face background okay so let's start off with the face background Okay, guys so right now we're going to work on the eyes so if you notice here we have the right eye i collapsed it we have the right eye and then we have the left eye and then we have three layers below this okay so let's start working on the right eyeball all right the right eyeball meaning the character's right all right so there are several ways of doing the eye the, the, the eyeball but my way of preference is just Now, instead of, instead of creating another eyeball for the left, we can just copy and paste. Okay? We can just copy and paste. So, what we're going to do here now, 
we're just gonna make sure we're on the right layer all right and then we're gonna copy this and then let's go down to our left eyeball and we're just gonna paste okay on your left eyeball so let's just position this to where we want our eyeball to be okay all right so so far so good we have our eyeballs let us work on the pupil right now so we go into select your right pupil layer okay and we're going to work on the right pupil so i will select my elliptical marquee and i'm going to ta -ta 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 -ta. okay so what we're gonna do just like we did with the eye the eyeballs we are going to highlight this and we're gonna copy and paste we're gonna paste this guy onto the left pupil always make sure that you guys are on the right layer okay so you have this guy right now all right so what we're gonna do now okay if you notice that above the um the layers here we have right blink and also here we have left blink okay this will automatically come on when you are in character animator and after we do our character's head we're going to test it out in character animator so for the blink i, I usually put just one line to represent the blink so for the right blink i will Oh, my bad undo that for the right blink i will just draw a line i have the wrong layer selected right here make sure you have the right layer selected always right blink and da -da 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 -da. i have this line here and for your my left blink i have another line as well okay so when we go into character animator we're going to explain what is really going on here so i am going to hide it i'm going to hide the the left blink and i'm going to hide i'm going to hide the right blink as well okay so here we have our character's eyes already set so just let me all right close this up so our we could be look neater all right so let us work on the eyebrows right now okay so on the right eyebrow make sure your layers are selected you will draw all right i will draw my eyebrow right here this is my right eyebrow okay and choose my left one and i'm going to draw my left eyebrow right here okay so we got that now a simple part we're gonna do right now we're gonna just put in the character's nose okay so i will just put no 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 just a little c for the character's nose all right okay guys so the last thing that we need to do to um complete our head is to add in the mouth shapes now if you notice when we collapsed the, our mouth um, folder right here, all right, we'll see that there are several mouth shapes. You have the neutral, the smile, surprise, the R, D, E, F, L, M, O, R, S, A, uh, and the W, that's the O, okay, and all these are there, all right? So we're going to cover that in a subsequent um, tutorial, but for now, what I am going to do, I am just going to copy and paste some mouse let me show you okay we have some mouths that have been there and also if you want to get some mouths there as well you also can also go into okay samurai and you have some mouth templates right there okay yes all right so let us go back into our photoshop what i'm going to do i'm going to just going to copy this mouse for um this mouth folder sorry and I am going to delete this one and I'm going to paste 
the one we, we, we had here, we had previously made, okay? So what I am going to do, I am just going to drag it up, make using our dragger tool, make sure that your auto select, all right, is not checked because if it's not checked, then one, one element in which is selected in your folder will move. So make sure that the auto select is not checked and then just drag this up to wherever your mouth you, you want your mouth to be all right so right now the r is highlighted okay we've seen the r but preferably we want our neutral to be seen okay so here we have our head make sure you save your files because right now it is called blank template blank sorry so let's save our file okay right now i'm gonna save this guy in my puppets folder mm, our puppets all over the place all right so i'm gonna call him george okay and let's go in this and then we're gonna change it to george head mm -hmm. okay so mm, you got how i spell george all right okay so make sure it's a psd file and you save it right here all right i need to delete this layer so that everything would be all right transparent in the background here so let's head to character animator right now to see what's going on okay guys so right now we are greeted with character animators home screen here and we are going to create a new project we already created out of we already created our folder george so we worked with george's head so let us okay open this new project in this folder and we're gonna call the file name george head all right and voila we have this character animator interface open right here it is blank but that's okay okay so the first thing we do is actually we're going to notice that we created a file and a folder has been created george head and we are seeing that there is a character animator file called george head in there and we have the data in there as well okay so once you take our photoshop file here and we drag it on to our project panel here all right our puppet is created called george's head but we're not seeing anything right now so what we need to do is to create a scene out of that okay so looking at our okay our icons right here so i'm so right now we're seeing george's head right here as a puppet and then once we have highlighted it we're seeing that we have we can create a folder with it we can see we can click on this and we can edit it in photoshop one time and also this scene here once you click on this a scene will be created showing george's head all right as you can see george's head will move as my head moves okay eyebrows angry look say and we can also see our okay our pupils are moving with mine as well okay um i would recommend if you are using glasses all right it's better it is more responsive okay if you are using without the glasses especially for the eyes notice that i blink i'm blinking and he blinks too so what is happening there if you notice that we had the blink being unseen in the eyes all right in the eye folder in photoshop all right this is the reason why it's that it actually replaces once you blink it actually replaces the other symbols in the the folder and you will get that blink all right as you notice as well my mouth as you can see the mouth is moving 
trying its best to move the same way mine is moving because it is actually syncing the sound coming into the microphone with the different mouth movements hence the reason why guys that the character okay the sequence of the character the layers in photoshop is very important and i would say that the naming conventions the way you name your characters is more important as well okay so okay we see our character's head as it moves right now but then our character needs a body so in our next tutorial we are going to work on the character's body